Hello, Patrick Walchuk here with an update on the Ottawa real estate investment market. And as we do every month, we select one or two buildings that have sold uh, in, in the current month. In this case, here it'll be March of 2024. And we do a financial analysis on the building to give you an indication of what the market cap rates are and that kind of thing. So let's get right into it. And we've selected a couple of buildings. The first one is going to be a three unit building that was in central Ottawa. It was listed for 820, let's call it 825,000. It sold for $806,000. Again, this is March of this year. Now, it had a scheduled rental income of 55,600, an effective rental income of almost $54,000. Uh, the stated operating expenses on this building were $13,000. When uh, we add in um, uh, the expenses of property management, that kind of thing, uh, gives us total operating expenses of over $18,000. So we now know that our net operating income is $35,500. So when we know our uh, NOI, we can calculate a cap rate of 4.4, which is nice to see because we've been getting used to 2.2, 2.6, you know, 3.1 kind of thing. Uh, so this is kind of more of a traditional norm, if you will. The operating expense ratios, I, I like that, 34%, it's a little bit below average, uh, perhaps, which is great. Uh, it sold for 15 times gross and 23 times net. You know, before my uh, default or standard was, uh, you know, maybe about 12 times the gross and 20 times the net. So it's interesting to see that these numbers are a little bit lower. Now, in order to uh, have a positive cash flow on a building, we always look at what kind of a down payment or how much of a down payment is required. And in this case here, if somebody had a 39% down payment and we use a mortgage rate of about 5.2%, then that gives us an annual debt service on the mortgage of 30, call it $35,000. So Knowing that, it actually produces a positive cash flow of about $500, and that gives us a positive return on our investment of 0.15%. So that's the interesting number in the story. Thanks for watching.